Welcome to the Appendix, where we read primary sources of the past so the present can be better understood. Today's primary source, Resolution of Congress on Public Lands, October 10th, 1780. The ownership, control, and administration of the Western lands was one of the most acute and perplexing of the problems of the old empire. By their charters, many of the American colonies were entitled to lands west of the Appalachians, and the proclamation of 1763 closing these lands to settlement aroused general resentment. With the outbreak of the revolution, the states resumed their titles to their western lands. Many of these titles were conflicting and uncertain, and there was a widespread feeling, especially in those states that did not have title to western lands, that these lands should be surrendered to the central government. Congress, by the resolution of October 10, 1780, dictated the policy which it would follow towards any lands ceded to it by the states. Resolved that the unappropriated lands that may be ceded or relinquished to the United States by any particular state pursuant to the recommendation of Congress on the 6th day of September last shall be disposed of for the common benefit of the United States and be settled and formed into distinct Republican states, which shall become members of the Federal Union and shall have the same rights of sovereignty, freedom, and independence as the other states, that each state which shall be so formed shall contain a suitable extent of territory, not less than one hundred nor more than one hundred and fifty miles square, or as near thereto as circumstances will permit, that the necessary and reasonable expenses which any particular state shall have incurred since the commencement of the present war in subduing any of the British posts or in maintaining forts or garrison within or for the defense or in acquiring any part of the territory that may be ceded or relinquished to the United States shall be reimbursed, that the said lands shall be granted and settled at such times and under such regulations as shall hereafter be agreed on by the United States and Congress assembled, or any nine or more of them. Thank you for joining us for our primary source today on The Appendix. We will see you in its next.